cunning focus, attitude, and just response? And what ways did your team show you that tonight? All of that. All of that. I just love their effort. I think Doe talked about it. That was the best game I think we had, just communicating on offense and defense, uh, covering up for each other, and that's our power. Uh, we was underdogs coming in here. I just told them, like, nobody thought we was going to win this game, especially the back-to-back -back and how we've been playing back-to-backs off a tough loss. But they believed. Um, they communicated. They talked together, and they stayed in as a pack. And that's our motto, just staying in as a pack, and it's our standard. And they just played. Um, of course, it's, it's great when shots are going in, but I think those shots came off of them sharing the ball, getting downhill, finding the open man. Nobody was selfish. The ball did not stick. And then us getting after on the defensive end and then cleaning up our turnovers um, as our refs appeal winning. Um, they put it all together tonight, which was great to see. When you look at just it being, you had the 12-point lead at one point in that first half, then it the Cleveland Cavaliers were able to take the lead in that third, but then something just sparked where you were able to have put on an offensive performance where you guys put up 44 points in the third. What stood mm -hmm. out about that third quarter and how your team was able to still, you know, have be resilient and still come out like that? Yeah, start us on the defensive end. We started getting stops. So we got out in transition. Um, and our three points was 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 something special, but they was all off on sprays and kickouts. We talked about Jared Allen, Jared Allen being at the rim. It's hard to go and challenge him, but what is our, we call I call it kind of court mapping, understanding where Jared Allen is and then understanding where your other players are. So you have a plan when you're going and attacking them and when he comes over the block or when their low man comes in to seek in, let's spray the ball and be confident in our shooters. Um, and that's what they did tonight, and it was great to see. But our defense picked up uh, steals and pressure and all the different things that our coaching staff and me wants uh, was on display tonight. When you have a guy like Cam who, uh, forget the fact that he missed as much time as yeah. he missed. I mean, a lot had been said about his, his defense or his passing or having to improve those aspects of his game. Um, for him to be plus 27 mm. tonight and for him to be sharing the ball the way that he did and even kind of getting stuck in on defense the way that he did, uh, is that something that's contagious and guys kind of feed off of that? I mean, yeah. I mean, Cam is in there. I mean, we challenge him um, about the EGBs, and EGBs is offensive rebound and defensive rebound. He had seven rebounds today, five assists, so it wasn't all his scoring. He was contributing in other ways, and that's just great to see. I want him to keep that up. Uh, we're going to keep challenging him in those ways, and we want him to be a masterpiece on the offensive end and a masterpiece on the defensive end, and he can do it. Um, but we got to keep challenging, and, and it's not coming from our coaching staff. It's our, our players. Challenge him to be that 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 special because we know what talent he is, and we got to continue to harness that, continue to have his masterpiece come out. But he displayed it all tonight. Um, got hurt a little bit and banged his knee, and you know I was gonna take him out, and then he hit two threes. I was like, Nah, we gonna be all right. <laughs> I was like, You all right? Stay in this. But um, just his toughness, his resiliency, battling back and getting back on the court for us means means the world to us. Um, it was good for Mikhail too. See some shots go in, and you know, uh, coming off the curl, playing off CT, you know, just taking the pressure off himself and stepping up. He put so much work in, so I know those seeds that he's planting is going to bloom and, and blossom at some point. He, he he's meticulous in his work, and they're going to show. And like I said the other day, struggle is part of it, and he's just going to grow through it if he don't stop in the middle. And he didn't stop in the middle tonight. He finished it to the end, and we all finished it the right way, the Brooklyn way. Speaking of Mikhail, I guess just, again, kind of going off what you said, when someone like him obviously takes so much pride in his craft and what he does and had the games he's had before, for a game like this, what does it do for him just to see his energy on the court translate when the shots are falling defensively, he's doing his job, and just being the player he can be even though he's had these struggles the last few games? Yeah, it's, it's very important, but you said it. Um, Evan, that is the energy. That that should not never waver. If shots going in or shots not going in and shots maybe going, that should never waver his energy. He's too good defensive player for that to to that to waver. And physicality that we brought, that's a physical team over there. And I thought we brought it to them tonight, which is good for us because we've been taking punches. And for us to throw punches and, like you said, uh, Megan, for us to have a lead and then they come back in again, that's when we usually kind of 
fade off or get discouraged, but we got to encourage about that. All right, that's their punch, but what's our counter punch? And then Doe talked about it, point talking, being resilient, you know, running the court in six seconds, offensive rebound and defensive rebound, and we did it together as a pack. When we do it as a pack, I mean, that's where it's at. That's who we are. I challenged them after one game and a halftime, like, who are we going to be? Who are we going to be? Forget about Atlanta and all that stuff and chasing all that. Uh, let's take care of what we need to take care of, and then the results will happen, and they'll fall out in where, where, where God intended to be. But we can't be focused on something that we can't control. What we can control is us getting better, and we got better tonight. Speaking of doing it as a pack, when you look at the stat sheet and you look at your starters, all five being double figures, and then every starter having multiple rebounds and then mm. multiple assists like that, just – when you guys move forward just with the rest of the season, just what does that showcase about what the, that group is starting to kind of like grow? And how can you use this game as a, an example? Yeah, we can use this game. We can use games when we don't do it. Like all of it is just, it's just part of our journey. It's just our, our learning experience with each other. But we can't get down on each other. We can't point the finger. We can't be split. We can't be disjointed. And that's all I want to talk like. This is special. Like we're spending our lives together. And I want them guys to understand that because this group might not be the group next year, but we got these games to spend our lives together and be around each other and have a brotherhood that we have. And we got to take this to to and make sure we're grateful about it and then work hard. But the ball sharing and all that stuff is just great to see. Um, and they put it all together tonight. It was it was the fruit of our labor and what the pain that we've been through. We got a reward for it tonight. But I keep telling we can't be drunk on success. We, we've done this before. We've seen it before. we got to come back with Orlando with the same focus. Take care of your body when we get back to Brooklyn and come with the same focus. Now, are we going to win? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. That's up to God. But we need to have the same focus and have our same attention to detail like we did tonight. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Thank you.